What's up, Samurai? We've got the new event in game, which I'll have an event video go up tomorrow because I'd already just finished my live stream. That will end up going public as soon as it's done processing. It is my birthday today, so it was a big celebration, blah, blah, blah. But today's video is focusing on a new NPC that decided to randomly show up. So you just go down into Luxian's little cellar here. And on the right side, there's going to be this little kitty cat guy right here. And he's actually selling four different unique mounts. So as far as I remember, uh, you know, I did this on the stream, but this guy was 10K cubits. And then these were both 1000 uh, credits each. Yes, cash shop currency. And then Yabaski. So this mount actually requires us to own all of the other previous mounts. And you'll note that we can only get three of these and there's actually a couple more of them uh, that we can't get our hands on yet. So if I type in Honda, you can see that we're actually missing Splashonda and Squishonda, right? Now, I'm assuming that these are going to cycle out of this guy's inventory. It's probably very time gated in that sense, just because it's Trove, right? So it shows that this Chonkabiri is going to be here for six days, nine hours, at least at the time that I'm recording this. Uh, and then the other one after that is 13 days. So more than likely, we'll see this guy cycle out for one of these, and then this guy will cycle out for one of these, and then by that time, maybe Yabaski will be cycled out. I, I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully we can end up getting this guy uh, while all of the other ones are still around. And what each of these mounts are going to end up doing is they're all just going to end up being bouncing mounts, but they'll end up having different unique visual effects tied to them. Uh, it's not really anything super fancy. It's most of all just the visuals. So Splodori is going to end up being the pretty bird, basically from the Trove of Wonder. So it's going to bounce around and also just leave the flowers behind it, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then there's going to end up being Chonkbiri, which is going to end up leaving the lava trail behind us or, uh, you know, ash ground behind us, whatever. You can kind of end up doing some pixel art with a bunch of other people, I suppose. It's still pretty cool. I'm not a big fan of the bouncing mounts, but these I like just because they're chunky boys. Uh, and then there's Spillery, which is going to end up being the ice one, which will actually create ice everywhere, not just on water. Uh, I haven't actually tested whether or not this works on water, so I kind of want to try that out. But you can see it actually does give us ice physics, which is quite annoying. Uh, let's try it out in a nice world really, really quickly. And then uh, the Yabaki one apparently will put like purple uh, shiny blocks on the ground. I don't think that it's going to end up having like a Gonda functionality to it uh, where it's going to end up you know, creating air blocks or anything. But yeah, see, the ice guy doesn't actually do anything other than just sink because he's too fat and that's why. So anyways, this is just a quick video letting you guys know that some of these are here right now, uh, but we're not 100% sure on when the other ones will end up showing up or if they even show up in that cat guy's inventory.